we will now introduce you to the coupon options of our software. By going to Inventory and then selecting Coupon Designer, you will enter the Coupon Designer screen. This option allows you to design the content of a coupon. In here you can see an example of a coupon by selecting the Example Coupon from the drop-down menu on the top left corner of the screen or clicking the Example Coupon button in order to better understand the design process of a coupon with our software. The way the coupon looks in its overall design is shown on the bottom center of the screen. The lines of text and their graphics are contained in the coupon's lines table. In here you can see that this example coupon has two lines of text with different text on them, different font name, size, color, style effect, alignment, and line spacing. Now we will simply walk you through designing of a coupon from the beginning. First we will name the coupon by typing in the desired name into the drop down menu on the top left corner of the screen. Then we will continue by creating the first line of text and its graphic options. As you type in each line of text and select its graphic options, you will notice that below this table you will see an example of how this line of text will look. Once you are done assigning all of the attributes for each line of text, simply click the Add Line button for this line to be added to the coupon. Notice after adding the initial line, the coupon look will generate on the bottom center of the screen, which will constantly change and update as you do changes and additions to this coupon. If you are following along and replicating the steps of this video tutorial, you will notice the barcode on the bottom which may or may not appear as a barcode on your system. If a barcode does not appear on your screen, this is because you do not have a properly installed barcode font on your PC. If this is the case and you would like to use barcodes for your coupons, please refer to either the online help of our software or the support tab of our website www.alexandracomputers.com and look up the article How to Generate Barcodes with My PC. Please understand that a barcode is not necessary for a coupon. However, if you would like to use barcodes, you can definitely take the full advantage of this option in our software. We will now add one more line of text to the coupon. However, keep in mind that you can add as many lines as you like, as well as remove lines if you make a mistake or change your mind by utilizing the Remove Lines button. Now that we are done entering the lines of text that we would like to see on the coupon, we can assign the coupon code. The coupon code is like an item ID for a product or service in the way that this is the code that will be typed in or scanned at sale time on the main sales screen in the item number field to apply the coupon to that sale. You are free to designate whatever you wish as a coupon code. It can be any combination of letters, numbers, and or characters. Below the coupon code field, you can control the size of the barcode that represents the coupon code and to the right you can control the alignment of it. Finally, you can enter the discount that the coupon gives in two ways, which are either a fixed amount price discount or a percentage discount. That is simply how you design coupons with our software. If you would like to save a designed coupon for future printing, you can simply click the Save Coupon button and if you would like to delete a previously saved coupon, you can simply use the Delete Coupon button. If you do not wish to use the Coupon Designer to design coupons, but you already have or will design coupons to a different entity and you wish to use these external coupons in our software, you simply need to use the External Coupons feature within the Coupon Designer. With the External Coupons feature, 
you will technically be only recording or saving the coupon in our software with the basic information that our software needs in order to make this coupon work with it. This basic information is simply limited to your desired coupon name, the coupon code or barcode, and the amount or percentage of the discount. We will now show you how to process the coupon that we just made in this video tutorial in a sale on the main sales screen.